Welcome back to C-Sharp Tutorials for Beginners. This time we're doing overloading and it should be pretty short and sweet. Method overloading is when you create more than one method that has the same name. But in doing this, they have to have different forms because you can't have two of the exact same methods. So why would you use method overloading? Well, you might need to do very similar or even the same logic, but you might have different inputs or outputs. So say we want to create an add method. So we'll start with the most basic form. We'll return an int. We're going to call it add. And we need to take two numbers. So we'll do int number and int number two. And what we're going to need to do is have a result, which is going to be number plus number two. And then we need to return our result. So that's very simple. But what happens when we want to add three numbers? So we could change the number of parameters and add an overloaded method. So we could say static int add. And then we could have number, we could have number two, and we could have number three. And we could take this, we could put it in here. We could add our third number to it. And now we have add and add but they take a different number of parameters. So up here, you could either use method one, which is two parameters, or method two, which is three. And both of those are valid uses of your add method. Now let's say you need to add doubles as well as adding ints. So what we can do is change the data types of our parameters. So let's take our add method here paste it down here, and let's just change our types. Leave everything else the same. We're going to return a double. The numbers we're going to take are doubles, and our result is also going to be a double. So we didn't have to change any logic, we just changed the types. Now if we go up to our add, if I put 1, 2 here, and hover over add, you'll see that it picks the overload that is int number and int number 2. But if I change one of these numbers to take a double, you can see it automatically shows you that it's the double overload. In doing this, it lets us do the same type of functionality while keeping the naming more clean, more generic, and more updatable because we know that we're adding, we're just doing it in different forms. Now the third less common way to overload a method is to change the order of its parameters. So say we had static void register. We're going to register a user and that's going to take a name and let's say an age. And this is going to do some logic to register a user. Well we could overload this method here simply by changing the order of the parameters. So let's say we wanted age first. and then name, and these are two separate, distinct methods from each other now. I will warn you about this method of overloading to be very careful, because it does have cases where it's really useful and necessary to use this type of overloading, but there are also a lot of cases where you're just unnecessarily duplicating code, or just rearranging your parameters to be able to name something the same when it doesn't really have the same functionality, and you don't want to do that because you're making your code less readable. Now that we've learned a little bit about methods and how they work, we're going to jump into the basics of debugging. So thank you for watching everybody. I do appreciate you. Happy coding and until next time, take care.